Well, I think some people and a lot of kids are being exposed to how you think about information. How do you think about data? How do you think about evidence? And more to the point, how do you do it in a scientific way? What does science look like? What does gaining information or knowledge in a completely new situation where there's tremendous uncertainty and where the story may change from week to week as we learn more, uh, a lot of people are going to be exposed to that. Um, I imagine, much like a lot of my generation went into science because of Sputnik, a lot of people are going to go into health and science because of this situation. Now the wisdom they're going to need is um, the wisdom that a lot of social commentators have said we've already needed as we move to the internet age. Uh, there's just a tremendous amount of information on the internet. Um, a lot of it's incredibly valuable, but a lot of it is incredibly misleading. And a lot of it is uh, just outright fraudulent. And we have to become experts at being able to tell which experts to follow. Uh, who has a sound voice and who is giving us information that's going to mislead and maybe harm us. Um, now that's been true before the pandemic, but I think the pandemic has really brought this to the fore. And hopefully people become expert at telling who's the expert. Uh, I know that there's a difficulty in that because how can you tell who the expert is without expertise yourself? Well, that's a skill we're all going to have to learn. A negative consequence of the pandemic is um, all this media uh, we're being shown that shows us people not on their best behavior. Um, it shows uh, conflict. And remember that conflict is highlighted on the internet because, well, conflict attracts eyeballs. Uh, people who do drama have known this since the Greeks. Um, what also attracts eyeballs is incredibly outrageous behavior. Uh, I don't know how many videos I've seen of people massively upset because they've been asked to wear masks in the local supermarket. Um, they're outrageous, uh, they can make you angry, um, but they can also give you a tilted view of what's really going on with people, what people are really doing. You may focus on the person not wearing the mask and being upset, but you may not notice all the other people in the store wearing the masks that they've been asked to wear. So one of the negative things that we have to be cautious of is not letting what we're being shown about what's going on in the world to mislead us about um, how people behave. Uh, we can become cynics uh, when a lot of people are acting in a very non-cynical, very cooperative way. The skill we need to do is to notice everybody. That's the wisdom that we need to know. We need to know our own behavior. We need to see what other people are doing. We also need to remember the power of norms. Norms really, what other people are doing really does have an impact on how we behave. And so it's important to get the norm right, if you will, to set the proper norms and to really assess what, really, what norms are really out there uh, in the environment. Now, one last type of wisdom people are going to need is uh, to remember that the pandemic is a public health crisis. It's fairly obvious it's a health crisis, but I think what people tend to forget is that it's also public. Um, we are all individuals, but we are also all we. Uh, we all have to act together and take care of each other in order to get through this thing the best way that we can. Uh, we have to remember that. We have to remember that's part of our uh, duty uh, as humans. Uh, and it's always been thus. Um, the human ability to cooperate, to coordinate, to work together is the one superpower we have as a species. To get through the pandemic, we're going to have to remember that, that we have to take care of each other uh, for two reasons. First, it's always been thus. And second, it's going to become important in the very near future because the pandemic in many ways is just a, uh, an overture for the real challenge our species is going to face and where we're all going to have to work together in the near future if it isn't here already 
and that's dealing with climate change.